It's incredibly easy to create retro style scenes like this, and there's a lot that can be learned and applied for all your After Effects projects. So as always, let's break down these techniques and create something awesome. All right, first thing is first, what should we create? Well, let there be light. We'll create the sun for our first retro edit. With the ellipse tool, hold shift and create a circle. When your circle is ready, add the gradient ramp effect from generate. We'll set our colors to a bright pink and mango. Okay, if you want, go to transition and add Venetian blinds to the sun after effects layer, not your windows. Set transition completion to around 10% and change the direction to 90 degrees Kelvin. Now let's give this sun a neon style by adding the glow effect from style wise. Set the radius to about 35. Duplicate the glow effect and set radius to 360 no scope. <sighs> the good old days. The last thing to do is to animate the position of the sun to rise in your sky, which doesn't exist yet. So create a solid and add the gradient ramp effect and fade the background from this darkish purple to a mediocre tango color. All right, so we can't have a retro scene without stars. Well, you can, but you don't wanna be a failure. So create a white solid layer and go to effect, simulation, CC starburst. You can eat all the other starburst flavors, just give me the red one. Set the speed to 0.01, the size to 25, and the scatter to 175. Now we have the stars and the sky, but if you don't wanna have a bottomless pit of despair for your retro edit, let's add a floor grid effect. So create a dark, and I mean very dark blue solid, and set the width and height to 4,000 each. Then add the grid effect from Generate. Make your grid a three layer, set the X rotation to 90 degrees, and lower the position. We'll change the effect to width and height sliders and proceed to change those values to 300 each. We'll lower the border size to 3.0, which would have been a great GPA for my After Effects course I took in college. Just kidding, I don't even know what After Effects is. Set the blending mode to normal, and now let's animate the anchor at its current value to negative 1500. The animation should be 10 seconds long, but that's just a suggestion, just like speed limits. But don't forget to add the glow effect and duplicate it. And we'll set the second glow radius to 60. Now we have the frame of our scene ready to go and it's coming together nicely. All right, let's stop messing around and let's take our scene to the next level by adding in some cool stuff like mountains or buildings or whatever you want. We can get our hands on assets like these over at Free Picks, link below, and we can grab one of these scenes, but we'll have to use Adobe Illustrator once your file is ready. All we need to do is separate the buildings or any object into their own project file. So I'll select and copy the buildings and then paste them into a 1920 by 1080 project. Then I'll scale them up and save the file as an Illustrator document. And thankfully the pain and suffering is finally over and we're back here in After Effects. We'll import the building graphic that we just saved and then we'll place it into our project and fit it perfectly with the transform tools. A quick tip to expand your city skyline is by adding the motion tile effect. Then just increase the output width and check mirror edges. Now we have the perfect fit. The last thing I want to do is select the pen tool and create a line at the base of our city where it meets the grid. Turn off the fill and turn on the stroke and we'll use a stroke width of two. Then we'll copy and paste the glow effects that we use for our grid to our line layer. We're gonna take a break in the action to let you know that we have a massive retro pack here for After Effects. We're talking 200 retro titles, full retro scenes like the one we're creating in this tutorial, and plenty of retro motion graphics for you to add into your project. You can preview and import any of these templates with one click. With this retro title template, we can change the title and of course, the colors. And that's it, they all work this way. And we have over 20,000 other templates for your After Effects and Premiere Pro projects. So be sure to check out our links below and start saving time now. All right, let's make our scene even more epic by adding in some extra detail with some Florida palm trees or any foreground object that you like, which is hopefully from Florida. But seriously, I got this palm tree from an Illustrator file from the previous technique. Now you can keep the trees here and call it a day. However, we're amateurs. So set the layer to a 3D layer and add a keyframe for position. Our goal here is to match the speed of the grid effect. You'll notice that the animation value of the grid effect anchor parameter is a total of 2040. So let's just multiply that by negative one and go to 10 seconds in your timeline and set the Z position of the palm tree to negative 240. We do some maths here. So now you can duplicate your tree and offset it in your timeline multiple times if you wish. Everything is looking good, but before you can eat your cake, we have to put some icing on it. So let's create an adjustment layer and add glow and the noise effect. 
Set the glow radius to 550 and alt click the stopwatch. Type wiggle open parenthesis 1 comma 200 close parenthesis. Then set noise to 6%. Lastly, you can add the brightness and contrast effect to say your buildings and do a wiggle 1 comma 20 for the brightness. And congratulations, you've created something awesome today. Subscribe if you haven't already and always be creative.